Hello, and welcome to Binghamton University's new student housing process for the spring term. This video is for first-year students and transfer students newly enrolled at Binghamton for the spring semester. Current Binghamton University students returning from a semester abroad program or leave and are looking to move back onto campus for the spring semester will also want to view this video. In this video, we'll take you through the housing application and demonstrate how to sign up for a room. Everything starts at the Residential Life homepage at reslife.binghamton.edu. Our pages may look a little different from year to year, but you'll always find a wealth of up-to-date information about our housing process and about our communities. Our housing information page will detail all of our sign-up processes, including important dates and deadlines. Our community pages let you explore all of the living options available to you on campus. You'll have the opportunity in the housing portal to select your own room, so it's a good idea to be familiar with all of our communities ahead of time. Our traditional communities, College in the Woods, Dickinson Community, Hinman College, Mountain View College, and Newing College are available to first-year students with some transfer student space available. Each community has its own dining hall, student government, collegiate professor, and staff of student affairs professionals. Every one of our communities is distinct, featuring traditions and a character uniquely its own. Our apartments community offers four- and six-person apartments, all with single bedrooms. Apartments are fully furnished and include a kitchen. Common areas of the apartment are all shared spaces. Transfer students who wish to live on campus should anticipate living in the apartments. Here you will find programs and services crafted to meet the specific needs of transfer students. New first-year students, please note that you are not eligible to live in the apartments. Have a look around and find the communities that are right for you. Availability may vary when it's time to sign up, so be sure to have a plan A, B, and C. Let's get started and introduce you to the housing portal. When sign-up is underway, you'll find a link to the process here on the Housing Information page. Before you can use the portal, you'll need to have your Binghamton University account name, your password, and you should know your B number. This page contains some troubleshooting steps in case your password isn't working. Click to log in to the Housing Portal. Log in with your Binghamton University computer account, your PODS account, and password. The top of the page will have a link to the housing process for which you're eligible. The term selector will show the current term. If this is your first time on the page, click Apply. Otherwise, click Continue. The Binghamton University Housing License is your contract with the university for the remainder of the academic year. It contains the rules and conditions of your stay on campus, so be sure to give it a read. Accept the agreement by entering your B number at the bottom and click Save and Continue. Next, you'll let us know who to contact in case of an emergency. The use of the second emergency contact is a little different, so be sure to give a little consideration to the choices you make here. At the bottom of this page, you'll need to indicate whether you've been convicted of a felony. Click Save and Continue to move on to our housing survey. This part of the application is a survey that has nothing to do with your housing choices this year, but the information we collect does help us plan for future processes. Simply choose your top three choices of where you'd ideally like to live, then press Save and Continue. Residence halls close for different breaks throughout the year, including winter break, spring break, and some shorter periods like Thanksgiving. If you can't make it home or make other arrangements for these breaks, you might want to consider living in one of our three break housing buildings. These remain open throughout the academic year. Transfer students can also choose to live in our apartments community, which remains open throughout the academic year. Choosing break housing as an option does not require you to live there, but it will add break housing rooms to the rooms you see during room selection. Choosing this option will take you to a supplemental agreement. Click Save and Continue. Binghamton University offers gender-inclusive housing to serve our students who would like to share rooms, flats, suites, or apartments regardless of gender identity. Students choosing this option should anticipate welcoming a roommate who may or may not share their own gender identity. Choosing this option will take you to a supplemental agreement. If you accept the agreement and later change your mind, return to the Gender Inclusive Housing page and choose No. Your housing gender will revert to your gender of record with the university. Click Save and Continue. Choosing among these living options will open up additional rooms to choose from during housing selection. 
Let's have a quick look at these, but be sure to read over each option in detail before selecting these housing styles. Chemical free housing is a lifestyle provided for students who refrain from using alcohol, drugs, and smoking or vaping materials both on and off campus. Quiet living is a housing option where a quiet atmosphere prevails 24 hours a day. Choosing either of these options will take you to a supplemental agreement. Keep in mind that each is mutually exclusive. No campus housing is currently designated both quiet living and chemical free. Click save and continue. The application status page will let you know about your next steps in the process, including when to return to the portal for room selection. Because this is a two-part process, you will not typically complete your housing application and select your room on the same day. As it happens, the page is letting us know that our room selection time slot is currently underway, so we're going to dive right into selecting a room. Click Save and Continue. First up is Community Selection. New students will see up to five residential communities and transfer students will see up to seven communities, including the Hillside and Susquehanna sections of the Apartments community. As space fills up, you may see a narrower selection of communities, as communities will only appear if there is space available within that community. We're going to start off by choosing Hinman College and clicking Select Community. The room selection page will show you all available space that matches your housing gender. Male students will see all available male space, female students all available female space, and gender inclusive students will see all available gender inclusive space. The filters on the left of the screen allow you to narrow down your choices to specific room styles and buildings. Remember, it's easy to set a filter that will not return any spaces. If that happens, just clear the checkboxes on your filters to see the full room display. Although this is an individual process, you can get an idea of who you might be living with by clicking the Show Room Info link on the room card. Hinman is an all-suites community with most suites consisting of three double bedrooms. The Show Room Info screen will display the occupancy of the current room selected along with the occupants of the other bedrooms in the suite. Clicking View Profile beside a room occupant will provide you some basic information provided by the current resident as well as their responses to a roommate survey. Not all residents will have these, but most will. Once you've had a look at the space, you can click Go Back to return to room selection. The room cards will also clearly indicate whether a space is break housing, chemical free, or quiet living. Remember, since choosing one of these options only adds these rooms to the available spaces, you'll need to seek them out if that's the only living style you want to consider. Once you find a room you like, click Hold Room. Once clicked, you'll have five minutes to complete your assignment or the room you've selected will return to the room selection pool. On the Assign Beds screen, simply select your name from the drop-down list beside the available bed and click Assign Beds. The confirmation page gives you one more chance to check over your room selection and the timer is still running on the page. Once you're satisfied with your choice, click confirm and book the room. That's all there is to choosing a room. You'll receive an email confirming your room selection, but you can always come back to the housing portal and find your assignment on the application status page. The booking summary will show your assignments and other residents in the room, flat, suite, or apartment. Be sure to log out at the top right of the page when you're done, and thanks for watching. We can't wait to see you here at Binghamton University.